Welcome back, everybody, to Breaking the Mold. We're here with John Nolan, as you guys saw earlier. Woo! They love you today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you're in the hot seat. You like it so far? Yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's a great fun? seat. I like it. <laughs> it's a great seat. <laughs> haven't, haven't come across too many of these in my day. <laughs> well, we've talked about your solo album. What do, you, what do you plan to do with the solo album? Are you going to continue on a small solo tour with it, or are we going to... Uh, you know, have this on the side and then go right back into work with Straylight? Um, it's, it's probably going to depend, you know, just on, on, um, on the opportunities that come up, uh, more or less. Uh, so, yeah, the, the, it, it's, it's all kind of up in the air, you know. Um, whatever, uh, if, if this is, uh, continues to have some momentum and there's more tours that uh, are, are coming, coming my way, then I'll take those, you know, and if, if you know, and vice versa, depending on what's happening with Straylight Run, you know, that'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take those. We'll see where it goes. Sounds really cool. Uh, now you stay in touch with those guys. Have you guys been working on anything uh, at all from Straylight? Yeah, we actually, right before this tour that, that we're on right now, um, we, uh, Straylight Run just finished a tour that, that led right into this. And um, we recorded the, the, the last uh, set of the show, which was in New York City. And, um, we're gonna we're gonna release that in uh, some uh, shape in I don't know in the next year hopefully that it's kind of uh, the you know the the plans haven't all uh, been finalized but we got the recording and uh, it was really it was a, a good show to record in New York City and we hadn't played there in a while and uh, so yeah that's that's the uh, immediate plan right now is to to figure out how to release that and when sounds sounds great. Now we're gonna change gears for a little bit. Um, we've known that you've you know you've been to Kansas, New York City. You've lived in a couple of these different places and toured the world completely. Um, what's something that you miss most from home when you leave to go on tour? Um, it's it's I don't know. I, the the first thing that comes into my mind, which is kind of is kind of stupid, but uh, I really miss sitting on the couch and watching TV. I, uh, <laughs> You don't, you know, I don't know, there's something so relaxing about that, like, to have nothing to do for, you know, like a few hours and just sit there and, uh, and zone out and uh, know you're not uh, neglecting anything that you need to be doing or anywhere you need to be going. I, uh, I, I do tend to miss that, which is kind of ridiculous, but <laughs> it's the first <laughs> thing that pops into my mind. All right. It sounds, it sounds very relaxing, though, very comforting, the way you describe it. Yeah. I also, I guess the, other, the second thing, I miss... I miss being able to cook. I like uh, cooking a lot at home, uh, and that's you know virtually impossible on tour. Yeah. So that's also something that's I think is just really fun and relaxing. And uh, yeah, I, I do tend to miss that. That's after after sitting around watching TV, yeah. then it's, it would be cooking. I guess. But if you can if you can mix them all together, I oh, mean, it'd be great. Now, what's your favorite dish to serve? Um, well, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I I have this uh, this chicken dish which has come to be known as John's Chicken uh, the world over. It's very famous now. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a Parmesan chicken recipe. Uh, not chicken Parmesan, but Parmesan chicken. And uh, it's, it's, it's very good. It's a baked, breaded uh, chicken with uh, Parmesan cheese and uh, herbs and spices. And uh, it's, it's delicious. I've, I've really perfected it. Really? Yeah, it's Sounds good. good. So may maybe we'll even hear about this new uh, restaurant that opens up in Lawrence. That would be nice. Or uh, I might cool. start a cooking show out of my house if I have some time at home, maybe. Yeah, and if you're ever, you know, sitting at home and just watching TV, maybe you'll watch Breaking the Mold. You never know. Oh, does it does it get out to uh, Lawrence, Kansas? Well, I'm sure we can find a way to get it out there. <laughs> yeah, you never know. I mean, we're pretty much in Pennsylvania now, but we plan on, you know, making it move a little bit. Very nice. So. You miss cooking, you love watching TV. That's what you miss from home. But what do you take from home that you need to have on you at all times while you're on tour? Um, you, you know, like after a lot of years of touring, it, uh, I don't know, it gets, it gets down to, it's pretty basic, you know. Uh, it's really the, the only thing that I always have on me other than my clothes is, uh, is my <laughs> wallet, really. <laughs> like, you know, when you first start touring, you kind of, brings so much stuff and you don't know what you're going to need and after a while you kind of realize there's not that much that you uh, really need on a regular basis and I've kind of uh, I have a tendency to lose things so like 
I've developed this constant system of anywhere I'm, anytime I'm getting up and leaving somewhere or going somewhere else, or, you know, I, I'm just patting my wallet, usually patting my, for my wallet and my cell phone and keys. You know, those are probably like, yeah, it's nothing really that interesting, just very basic things that, <laughs> that I need. Sounds good. I know I do the same thing because I, I live three stories up, and if I forget my keys, there's no way I want to walk back up there to get them, <laughs> even though I have to leave with my car. Yeah, and if you're on <laughs> tour, just, you know, all it takes is that one time of uh, forgetting where you put the keys to the van down or, you know, you took your wallet out and left it on the bar or something, and then it's gone forever. You know, so Don't really want scary. that to happen on tour. No, it's Definitely terrifying. Not. Well, John, I want to say thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Would you like to play a song or two for us? Oh, I don't know. Guys? I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Do you want to hear a song today? Come on. (laughs) Okay, okay. I'll do it. (laughs) All right. Thank you very, very much, John. Yeah, thank you. And when we come back, we will be watching John play live on the Breaking the Mold set. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back.